When you think about an octopus physically, they could not be more different from us. It has eight arms covered in about 200 suckers each. It has three hearts and donut-shaped brain that's wrapped around their throat. And yet we're really finding glimmers of intelligence that are familiar to us. The overarching theme of my research is the evolution of intelligence. How did it evolve? Where did it evolve? And when? A lot of this type of work has focused on primates because they're most closely related to us. We found similar traits in cetaceans and in elephants and then large-brained birds like parrots and crows. But without looking at more diverse minds, you're not getting a complete understanding. There are many sophisticated minds that we share our planet with and we're finding it in the most unexpected characters. When I'm underwater and I'm in the presence of an animal like an octopus, it really encourages me to be completely in the moment. And my interactions with octopus have even influenced the way that I then interact with my daughter to try and be that crisp and that mindful in the moments that I share with her. One of the tragedies of our time is that humans have become really disconnected to nature. We no longer feel part of the intricate web that forms our planet. But when you start to connect with nature and you realise that we're all part of this puzzle, that if anything's knocked out of balance, we're all affected. And when we feel more connected to different life forms, we intrinsically want to protect those life forms.